reptilian creatures have evolved into killing machines like never seen before. Death is everywhere. Sweeping down from the air. Stalking the forest. And sometimes, thundering through the trees in the form of Tyrannosaurus Rex. T-Rex was the ultimate predator in the history of terrestrial animals. T-Rex is one of the largest and deadliest animals ever to walk on two legs. For two million years, it rules the American West. Powerful and intelligent, this predator is equipped with the tools to bring down massive and well-armed prey. The head, the skull of T-Rex is awesomely large. And each tooth is an armor-crushing weapon. Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king. This apex predator is 40 feet long, 18 feet high, and weighs in at seven tons. The jaws of T-Rex are infamous. Five feet of sheer terror with 60 teeth, some as long as 12 inches. Its skull is constructed of 64 bones, a design that's light yet strong, 16 times stronger than the jaws of an alligator. The front teeth are dagger-shaped with serrated edges designed to tear flesh. The larger side teeth are rounded, perfect for crunching bone. Solidly anchored into muscle, they can withstand pressure from any direction. We have a pretty good idea of how it killed its prey. It seems to have just walked right up to them, taken a bite, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Unlike many dinosaurs, they wouldn't just take the flesh off the carcass. They'd basically eat most of the carcass. T-Rex huge legs and pelvis make up half this bruiser's total body weight. Its tail weighs a full ton. The reason, it has to balance out a thousand pounds of head and jaws. The head is two-thirds muscle, able to power jaws capable of clamping down with enough force to bite through a steel oil drum. All that muscle delivers a bite strong enough to take down the toughest prey of the Cretaceous. T-Rex teeth are among the bluntest teeth, bluntest, least sharp, of the whole family of Tyrannosaurus. Those teeth are designed to crush, to penetrate thick layers of armor and muscle in a crushing, massive hemorrhaging blow. The muscles in T-Rex's neck are nearly as powerful as the muscles in its legs. At two feet thick, they are strong enough to lift a hippo or bring down the most well-armed, best-defended herbivore nature has ever produced, Triceratops. The best way to attack Triceratops is with a long-barreled 75-millimeter anti-tank gun. Triceratops protects itself with a bony shield called a frill and can fend off an attacker with a pair of four-foot-long swords. You've got to crush it. The only way to deal with this huge, curved, cantilevered, composite armor is a crushing blow with multiple teeth. But defeating a Triceratops takes more than just teeth. It requires power. Triceratops' most dangerous weapons are mounted on a skull that can swivel 360 degrees. The triceratops would want to keep that horns and the frill pointed right at T-Rex. For a T-Rex, the key to defeating a Triceratops is those supersized jaws. Behind this killer's bite are two sets of powerful muscles. The first runs from the top of the skull down to the bottom of the jaw. 
These muscles give this carnivore's bite its speed. The second set, muscles which make up almost 50% of the muscles in the head, wrap around the lower jaw, tying it to the roof of the mouth. They give T-Rex's bite its 7,000 pounds of force, twice the chomping power of a great white shark. And there's more. Just like a python, T-Rex can dislocate its jaw. Craniokinesis is basically the ability to swallow things larger than your own head. That's because the skull expands as it opens up snakes, swallowing whole chicken eggs, a snake head that's you know, much smaller than the egg, and it'll swallow that whole egg. You know, there's not a lawyer in this world that's too fat that his T-Rex couldn't swallow him whole. Tyrannosaurus rex is a carnivorous monster that uses sheer force to overpower well-defended prey. It's truly unlike any other creature that has walked the planet. T-Rex is different. Something about Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex itself is different than other predatory dinosaurs. But for such a celebrated killer, able to take on the toughest creatures of the Cretaceous, some things just don't add up. It's slow. Top speed, not much more than 15 miles per hour. A T-Rex couldn't even outrun a fit human. It's also unwieldy, requiring a full two seconds to make a 45 degree turn. If a T-Rex were to fall over while chasing a prey item, it might seriously wound itself. And its hands, with only two fingers, are completely useless for gripping prey. After its giant size and its huge teeth, the thing we most notice about T-Rex are its dinky little arms, these tiny little arms that can't even reach its mouth. The giant T-Rex is a baffling creature. There has to be more to this killer. How did this giant mouth on legs become the dreaded butcher of the Cretaceous? Was it raw power, its shark-like jaws? or something else entirely. Fossils of Tyrannosaurus rex have been unearthed in the US, Canada, even Asia. For scientists, these discoveries point to one conclusion. This carnivore has little to fear even from the most well-armed herbivore of the Cretaceous, Triceratops. But to bring down an animal this tough takes more than just brawn, muscle, and teeth. It requires planning and strategy. In short, brains. And T-Rex delivers. Its cerebrum is one of the largest of the prehistoric world. It has the ability to process sophisticated sensory information. Hearing, smell, sight, all are highly refined. We can look at the sense of vision and see uh, the attributes uh, of a predator. T-Rex's eyes are 16 inches apart, giving this killer exceptional binocular vision. The ability to perceive depth. Now, an eye is essentially just a photon catching device. Tyrannosaurus would have had an extremely large retina over which they could collect those photons. Collecting more photons gives the brain more visual information to interpret, more detail about its surroundings. And something else about those eyes is crucial for an apex hunter. A Tyrannosaurus' eyes were quite high up, and therefore they always had a very tall perspective on the world and can see great distances. For them, the horizon was very, very far away. T-Rex can distinguish fine visual detail as far away as four miles. That's about six times further than we can see. Its hearing as well is a significant advantage for a hunter. What we see in the inner ear of T-Rex is a hearing organ that's long and suggests that hearing was very important to T-Rex. 
called the cochlea. It's a hollow cone-shaped tube filled with liquid. This tube vibrates in response to sound waves. Thousands of tiny hair-like cells detect this movement, then send electrical signals to the brain. The cochlea in a Tyrannosaurus rex is almost an inch long, meaning it can pick up a wide range of frequencies. It was able to actually hear very low frequency sounds, and so something even off in the distance was going to be within its perceptive world. It doesn't want to hear the peeping and piping of little birds around there, because they're not going to be something it eats. But if it's hearing the infrasound grunts, of a triceratops, that's what it wants to hear because that sound is going to mean that's where lunch is. A battle with triceratops is more often than not a death match. This herbivore hasn't evolved into a Sherman tank for nothing. Now, as a Tyrannosaurus specialist, I don't like to admit this, but in that situation, the triceratops probably won, and it probably won on a regular basis. It looks as if this battle will end in a draw. The barbarian of the Cretaceous walks away empty-handed. Because T-Rex are warm-blooded, they need to maintain their body temperature. This means consuming huge amounts of energy, over a million calories every week. That's 1,500 pounds of raw meat quite a few kills, even for a super predator. But maybe T-Rex scores a meal some other way. Maybe Tyrannosaurus Rex has the guts to steal a kill from a rival carnivore. The reality is, is it's got all the tools uh, of a predator, and those tools of a predator serve a scavenger equally well. One of those tools is its nose the most sensitive found on any carnivorous dinosaur. I can tell you that that good sense of smell was awesome for finding carcasses. And when it did, it ate those carcasses. A dead Triceratops. Another predator's kill? For Tyrannosaurus rex, scavenging comes with substantial risk. Muscling in on someone else's dinner can end badly very badly. But a T-Rex can take on almost any other medium, even another T-Rex. And when it's Tyrannosaur versus Tyrannosaur, it's winner take all. Cannibalism in nature doesn't seem to be a matter of pleasure. It's a matter of business. T-Rex meat is T-Rex food as well. You know, it's protein. It's, it's something that will help that individual survive to the next kill. Attacking a T-Rex seems like suicide. But that may only be true if you're something other than another Tyrannosaurus rex. Cannibalism is the rule. It's not the exception. If you're a carnivore and there's meat there, you take advantage of it. In fact, paleontologists have found ample evidence of cannibalism in the bones of these giants. We find tooth marks on the bones of T-Rex and uh, uh, parts of the bones missing on the on T-Rex, the and clearly they were eaten by another T-Rex. There's nothing else that could have bitten those bones in half. 